It takes a spark to start a fire. Hi guys, I'm Tina from Makeup Wearables, and today we're gonna create two everyday hairstyles with braids for spring. And the first hairstyle is gonna be a messy retro half of do with a Dutch braid. And here I'm wearing my blonde ombre luxy hair hair extensions in 24 inches. And both my hair and my luxies were curled with the one inch HSI professional curling iron the day before. And since these are my second day curls, and if you guys want the same curl on the same day, use the biggest barrel from the HSI 4 in 1 curling iron kit and curl all of your hair towards your face except for your crown which should be curled away. Place your hand on top of your crown and clip away all the hair underneath it. Then because we're going for a retro look, we're going to tease our crown. But first, use some hair powder before teasing it. Now once you're done with the teasing, you can go ahead and attach the two clip luxies for volume. And then we're going to gather the crown into a ponytail and wrap a strand of hair around the elastic band. And if you need to braid in, clip away the bang securely so it doesn't get in your way. You guys can make the poof as big as you want or as small as you want, but we're going to do that at the end. So now we're going to make a messy Dutch braid with the ponytail. So split the hair into three and cross the side strands under the middle strand. Then start adding in hair to the side strands before doing a normal braid. Take some hair from the right side and add it to the right strand and cross both of these strands under the middle section. And then we're just going to repeat on the other side. Take some hair from the left side and add it to the left strand before crossing it under the middle section. But since I have face framing layers, I'm going to leave out some of the hair around my face to soften up this hairstyle, but this is optional. And repeat on the other side. Take some hair from the right side and add it to the right strand and take both under the middle section and so on. And about here, so a little below the ears, we're going to tie the braid with an elastic band and wrap another strand of hair around it. Then tug on the braid to make it even looser and messier. And if you want to, you can go ahead and fix your curls. And here I'm using what I used the day before to curl my hair, which is the HSI Heat Protectant. Then I took random sections, the sections that looked too messy to me, and then curled it towards my face with the 1 inch curling iron. To start a fire. And afterwards, I used the Arvazalia Argan Oil, one of my old favorites, before riding my brush through my hair. And now you guys can go ahead and make the poof by pushing the bump upwards and pinning it in place. I'm keeping mine on the small side because I don't want this hairstyle to get too fancy on me. But you guys can certainly do a big poof and create a Bridget Bordeaux style.
We're going to first split our hair into three sections. And I had this horrible idea of making you guys do a zigzag part for this bun, so I'm doing that here, but don't do it. Trust me on this. Doing the zigzag sectioning on myself took longer than doing the whole hairstyle, so just create three messy sections. Next, we're going to French braid all three sections starting from the middle. To French braid, start with a normal braid by taking the side strands over the middle section, then adding hair to the side strands before crossing it over the middle section. So just like a Dutch braid, except this time we're going to cross it over instead of under. And if you guys have layers, use something like a hair wax to keep it looking neat. I had to go somewhere right after doing this tutorial, so I didn't want to put anything else in my hair to prevent it from looking greasy. But normally I would use something like a hair wax or even a gel to keep the hairstyle looking more polished. And you guys don't have to braid it all the way towards the ends, except the middle section, because what we're going to do is after you made the three French braids, we're going to take the size and put it into a low ponytail. And with that ponytail, we're going to make a bun. And then we're going to take the main French braid, which is the middle section, and wrap it around the bun to form a messy braided bun. And then we're going to loosen up the bun and the braid and we're done. Let me know what kind of hairstyles you guys want to see next week. Like this video if you like braids, subscribe for more cute hair tutorials and I'll see you guys again next week. I love you guys. Bye.